the food that I'm most inspired to cook is truly driven by my surroundings and I think true to the American culture of embracing a melting pot and remaining vigilant in our approach to excellence. The crystallization process was inspired by a traditional Mexican dish similar to the nixtamalization process using calcium hydroxide to preserve the integrity of the starches during the candying process. The simmering process can take from six to eight hours and the squash is preserved due to the calcium treatment. After brushing the hazelnut date tare on the quail and letting it dry overnight, we grill it and serve it over a purple cabbage soup. The date tare was inspired by a trip to a local date farm in Tacopa, California. The naturally occurring date molasses is warmed with toasted hazelnuts and a touch of vinegar. The impetus for this dish as a whole was derived from our study of cuisine and our partnership with Mariana Alvarado for an upcoming Las Vegas restaurant we are developing now. Our sea bass dish features a sustainable fish from Pacifico aquaculture. We have stuffed it with a shrimp and lemon mousse to preserve the shape of the fish and moisture content through the cooking process. The mushrooms, both the lion mane and blue oyster, are cultivated here local in Las Vegas by Sundown Mushrooms. Truly spectacular and explosive flavor profiles due to the freshness of the product. After crisping the sea bass, we slice it into a few pieces for easier sharing. The preserved lemon and turmeric puree is heightened with pickled chilies and a touch of perump honey. Our turnips from Desert Bloom Eco Farm have been poached slowly in a blue pea flower broth. Our current project portfolio spans across the nation. I think there's a few areas of really focused interest. Firstly, the Utah and Nevada landscape as we're seeing a rebirth of horticulture and respect for the indigenous ingredients locally. This dessert was inspired by local Utah honey. We thought the best way to present it with the least amount of impact to its natural flavor profiles was to use it as a drench for sumac crepes served over vanilla ice cream with pickled cranberries, roasted pears, and basil buds. This dessert represents the fall season as well as the natural flavors that we perceive and kind of emotionally connect to with the region. 